Hi, good day. I'm Pearl Skelter Mother, CEO of Design Estates. This time, our focus is on management rules. However, before we get to management rules, I need to discuss the different types of resolutions that is required. What is resolutions? That is decisions that need to be taken by members. Members, I'm not referring to trustees or just scheme executives. I'm talking about members attending an annual general meeting or a special general meeting. So firstly, a quorum, a proper quorum is required, both in number and in value. Usually, or in 99% of cases, a quorum requirement is 33.3%, both in number and value. So what does value mean? If you have a property smaller um, than in comparison to your neighbors having a bigger property, the PQ would differ, so would your contribution to the body corporate. So value is counted together and that must also comply with a 33.3% quorum being present. Back to resolutions. One gets ordinary resolutions. What are those? The decision to appoint an auditor, determination of number and election of trustees, um, the approval of the operational and the capital budget, um, the insurance schedule, all of those ordinary resolutions. Okay. In fact, to have separate water meters and ele electricity meters installed also requires just an ordinary resolution, the majority being in favor. However, installing prepaid meters requires a special resolution. We come to special resolutions. What is the definition of that? Once again, ordinary quorum being present, which is 33.3%, both in number and value, and 75% of the quorum present must be in favor of a certain resolution or decision. What would examples of those be? To amend the conduct rules. Amend, repeal, replace, conduct rules require a special resolution. To decide upon uh, ne reasonably necessary improvements as referred to in the previous management rule require a special resolution. And then we get to a unanimous resolution. That's quite difficult to obtain. Firstly, a quorum present of at least 80, 80% of the members both in number as well as in value. And all the members present at that meeting would have to be in favor of a specific decision. In other words, if one member does not agree, that does not constitute a unanimous resolution. What are examples of unanimous resolutions? One, if you want to change the management rule, a unanimous resolution is required. If you want to have exclusive use registered um, with management rules, that would require a unanimous resolution. I hope I've clarified some of the resolution options there are. Thank you so much. I'll be back soon with more info on the management rules.